Hello everybody! The next cigar box is ready and I try to make a little bit more light so the colors are different now but it's it's brighter now. On the lid you find a cabinet card, a wonderful cabinet card, a piece of a drawer, an old one. I got this at a flea market. In this little matchbox you find a whole bedroom and this box is full of bottles and stuff. So the metal tiles are gifted from my friend Miyuki. She's been apple pie, her channel, see? And I used some buttons and backgrounds and yeah, you know. Inside the lid you find six pockets full of ephemera. Full of ephemera. And this bracelet dangling down from the cabinet card is removable. And it's a cute bracelet and an angel. Shows an angel and two kids. So in this clip, this paper clip or fabric clip, I'm not sure, is also removable. So let's open this up and get out the bookmark. This bookmark is blue and golden. It says belief and on this end dangles a cute image. So the book, the book. The book is special because, ah, the, the trim, the trim on the side of the box. Here is the trim. It's a wonderful trim and it goes around the box. So put this aside. The journal, this journal is from 1879, 1879, so it's antique and it's wonderful. And I kept the first and the last pages and this means that that here where I had to glue in my two signatures here, it is a little bit stiff. Huh? Because I used fabric and cardboard to make sure that, it's, that it is really in good, in best contact with, see, with this part. And it is. So, this is a flip out thing for hidden notes. And it is a bag from this side, um, a bag, sorry, a pocket from a side pocket. And this is a tag, a photography in original. Here is Elizabeth. And I used some of my wonderful washi tape. And this is the first book. It means here, first book, here. And the second signature, here you find, of course, where is it? Here you find second book. So, and this is a modern piece of ephemera. And I put lots of writing space paper inside, but of course different, various papers, ledger paper and Stenography. I don't know if this is English stenography or short script. And this is handwriting, wonderful handwriting. A vintage envelope and inside an altered postcard. And the envelope is also a little bit altered. But you can write on it and the little bear. And here washi tape and a bird. And this these are tiny playing cards and a writing space and you can also see the back here you can write and my friend Jen always says for all your journaling needs she's so funny she's so funny <laughs> for all your journaling needs so here another two dangling here and this is the middle part of the first sig signature and you find ephemera, ephemera, and those wonderful birds, pockets. 
So let's go on. Vintage stuff and antique stuff. Tickets. Washi tapes and a journaling card. Journaling card. And in this envelope here you find a little deer peeking out. It's so cute. And it also has a touch of nature. So, writing space, antique book page. And this you can flip this out. Original photography and a postcard behind. And this is the second signature. I already showed you this a little envelope. Another envelope and a postcard, a vintage postcard. And there we go. This is a wonderful washi tape. And here are the two flowers. In the middle of the second signature. And there we go. And here you find an altered postcard. And here a dangle thing. It's from 61, 1961, so it's vintage, but not antique. A little squirrel. This is an altered paper clip and a pocket. I got this idea from Kerry the Crafter. And it has a dangle. And this says found, and it has shank buttons buttons and then ephemera in the pocket and this is another flip out thing and as always I will add some stuff with my journal so you can put in here hidden notes some additional stuff because this is a pocket but I did not want to overdo it because it has to fit into my into my cigar box and it does look and here is the bookmark and let's close it and this is the sharing for today and I say thank you for watching and have a wonderful time bye bye